South Dakota Senator Tim Johnson is the lone man among South Dakota's top officials praising the Supreme Court's decision. He says tens of thousands of South Dakotans have already benefited from changes in health care, and he believes that number will only go up. Meanwhile, others are planning to put up a good fight to repeal it. An estimated 105,000 people in South Dakota do not have health insurance. That figure comes from the federal government, but it could change by 2014 if the law praised by Senator Tim Johnson takes effect. I have always believed health care reform was constitutional. Critically, the Supreme Court upheld the individual mandate. The United States is the only industrialized country in the world without comprehensive health care coverage. Others in South Dakota politics highly disagree. South Dakota Governor Dennis Dugard says he's disappointed in today's announcement. So is Attorney General Marty Jackley, who was one of 12 attorneys general to first sign on to battle the feds over the health care overhaul. I've all along said we joined it for two main reasons. One, to protect individual and states' rights, and two, to protect uh, against the Medicaid expansion. Obviously, we were successful today on the Medicaid expansion. We had hoped for a better result on individual rights. Representative Christy Noem says she's voted numerous times to repeal and defund the law. Now she and Senator John Thune promise to keep fighting to repeal it. We know that businesses are contemplating dropping coverage for their employees in favor of just paying the penalty instead. According to the nonpartisan Congressional Budget Office, 20 million Americans could lose their employer-sponsored health care coverage in 2019. Interesting and ironic in many respects that what they found to make it constitutional was the fact that the individual mandate was a tax, something that the President of the United States made it abundantly clear, uh, in his words, absolutely clear that this is not a tax. Uh, when they were trying to pass this. If the American people had known that this was going to be a big tax, I think they might have, they might have been a very different vote uh, when it went through the, the House and the Senate two and a half years ago. Well, Governor Dugard says now that the lawsuit is behind the state, they'll study all the available options and make an informed decision that minimizes the damage he believes the law could do to South Dakotans. The state spent about $8,252 on the federal lawsuit.